Hi, welcome to Gluten Free and Me, it's Jen. Today's video is pie crust extravaganza or pastry extravaganza. We have had this pie crust for years at our house. We love it. Once I found this, I've literally never tried anything else. Nothing else will do. Even the fast, quick ones from the grocery store, no go. This apple pie and quiche is our family's favorite. And today we're gonna do both apple pie and quiche, but I also wanted to try pigs in the blanket. Why not? And let's get on to that video. It calls for 14 tablespoons of unsalted butter. It asks us to dice it. Now the recipe that I use, I can do it in the food processor. And it calls for a certain amount of water. I say, always say, start off with the, what the recipe says. And if we need to add more water, then add more water because we want this um, dough to be able to combine, but we don't want it to be too wet. So let's cut this up. You can use this recipe in your food processor, or you can also use this handy dandy tool for your butter that you get little tiny bean sizes of the butter. Have the butter all cut up let's put our flour two and a half cups of the one-to-one -one bob red mill flour mix now i love to use this one because it's easy and during the holiday times i like to be able to whip things out as fast as i can but you know that you can make an all-purpose flour just as easy and there are millions of recipes available for that we're going to put four teaspoons of sugar quarter teaspoon of salt. Give that a little mix before I put the butter in. Put a portion of the butter in and get that going. A little bit more. Help but smile. I keep thinking about how great this pie crust is. It makes me happy. And you can see how it just starts to come together in little bean size. So I think it's ready for the egg. We need one, two tablespoons of ice cold water. I'm going to do a little bit of it and then I'll add the rest. A little bit more. Just giving a little pulse, pulse, pulse. Pay attention to the consistency. can see how it's starting to gather and even become more bean or pea sized as they say and here's the rest of our egg with water you can see it's starting to get a little messy up in here always forget my apron let's turn out this um, dough into this bowl so we can see what we're dealing with here and if we have to add more water I don't think I'm gonna need very much more water I'm going to add one tablespoon to it. I'm going to take my rings off and work it with my hands. I don't want it to get too warm. If it does get warm, then you need to put it in the refrigerator and cool it down again. But I think I'm safe right now to keep working with it. And let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Can you see how that's coming together? It's a beautiful dough. I'm gonna double this recipe for today. So in the refrigerator, this goes. Oh yeah. It forms perfectly. I'm gonna cover this with saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready for it. So as you can see behind me, I have several fixins for the quiche and for the apple pie, all that's done. And this dough has been refrigerating for at least an hour or more. 
and it's nice and cold. Just a little bit so my rolling pin doesn't stick and we'll roll away. I often start out with the dough in a disc so that I already have the shape that I'm wanting. Actually, our favorite pie dish is an oval and that's what I'm gonna make my quiche out tonight. I would suggest though, while you are rolling this out, that you put the remaining dough back in the refrigerator. So let's do that now. To roll out my um, pie crusts and things like this on a parchment paper. And then just in case it does start to get warm by me rolling or for whatever other reason, I can easily take this parchment paper and flip it over. So we're gonna do that now. Let me show you what I mean. I just peel it back. For me, that's worked a lot easier. Trim off the sides of this dough. It would be really pretty if we could just make this crust look consistent around the edge. Like so. This will be saved. So I put one apple pie crust in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. And then this one, my crust hasn't been cooked yet. And this one is in um, a, the tin where I feel really comfortable to put that in the freezer. So that one's gonna go for the holidays. So if there's a little slit on your, um, crust, no worries, that can serve as one of your little slits, but you're supposed to make some air slits in this to let some of that steam escape. And we'll have one of a, an egg yolk, just to brush on top, give it some nice golden color. Then I'm gonna put this in a 425 degree oven for about 10 minutes, and I'm gonna let that cook. And then I'll reduce that heat to 350 and cook it for 50 minutes. Wonderful. So in the food processor, I made my crumble with pecans and some, um, broke those up nice and small. Put my oats in there and my all-purpose flour, a little bit of cinnamon, some brown sugar, some butter. Mix that all up. And that's making a beautiful crumble right now, which I'm gonna put on top of this pie with all their beautiful flavors and it smells so amazing. I'm gonna put some, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of butter on top. I'm gonna put the crumbles right on top. And the butter inside of this is gonna make it nice and golden. And I'm gonna put this in a 350 oven for 50 minutes. Oh, look at that. Isn't she pretty? My crust for the quiche is in the oven for about 10 minutes. I have a half a dozen full eggs in here and I'm gonna put about a cup of egg white. This is kind of how I do my quiche. I really love quiche because you can play around with it. You can add sour cream and cottage cheese and milk to it and tonight, um, we're gonna have this with a big salad. So I have sauteed some fresh spinach, some onions and red pepper and green pepper. I have over here some sauteed broccoli as well. I have some sliced ham and sharp cheddar cheese, great um, shredded cheddar cheese. And that's gonna be my quiche.
got the ham in here. Let's put all that wonderful egg mixture. Let's take that sauteed spinach with fresh garlic and the broccoli cut real small and sauteed with some water. I'm gonna throw it all in there, all the vegetables in there, why not? And all my peppers and onions and the sharp cheddar cheese, the entire bag. And of course, you can use a utensil to mix this, but I often use a gloved hand since I already mixed that egg mixture nice and good. So the crust has been in there for 10 minutes and I'm gonna make sure all this egg, egg mixture gets in here nice and even. Spread those vegetables out. This is beautiful looking. Oh, look at that beauty. It's gonna go in the oven at that 350 for at least an hour, okay? And we'll take a look at it so that it doesn't brown too much. Now we don't do hot dogs around here very often, um, but when it's holiday time, sometimes we like to have little appetizers, especially if we're having guests. We've also done these pigs in a blanket with pizza crust before. So let's use this pie crust versatilely today. We've done the apple pie, we've done quiches. Let's go and wrap some hot dogs. Today I have obviously gluten-free, but some organic, uncured beef hot dogs by Applegate. So you wrap up, wrap the dogs and put them on your parchment lined paper. Leave them open on the end. Hi Nala. Oh boy. Very traumatic walker, my daughter, my dog. My daughter. <laughs> okay. And since obviously these hot dogs are pre-cooked, I'm just wanting that um, pie crust to cook. So I'm gonna put them in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 350. And let's see that um, crust flake away on these little cute little hot dogs. I couldn't wait for the quiche to come out before I showed you these recipes because these pigs in the blanket are amazing. This pie crust is so buttery and flaky. It's such a fantastic pastry. And with that salty hot dog, hands down fantastic. The quiche is gonna be lovely. Apple crumble and the pie look so perfect. This one will go in the freezer for the holidays and this one will go for the weekend. And I can't wait for the quiche to come out, but I couldn't wait. Mm. So good. We want to be at 365. That's what I like to make sure that everything is cooked in there. And if this tastes as good as those pigs in the blanket, tonight's going to be an awesome dinner. And we're at 365. Look at what we did today. And those pigs in the blankets, which I've already had my share. I'll have to save the rest for my husband. I'm going to let this cool down. And we'll cut into that and you can see what it looks like. I usually do, I overstuff my quiche. So normally your quiche would be in a smaller, more shallow dish. So mine is gigantic, um, but that's okay. My kitchen and my vegetables, they weep a little bit. So there's a lot more um, moisture in here. But this crust is flaky. And amazing, of course, as we always know, the first pie, the first piece is always a disaster. So let's get that second piece out. And so you can take a good look at the um, crust. Real things happening. Right, Nala? If you could smell what I smell. See? Look at that crust. It's beautiful. That's the quiche with all those vegetables. You think I should cut into the apple pie so you can see it too? The weekend's only a few days away. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, the, the apples still have a little crisp on them.
So what a fantastic apple pie. I'm gonna have to taste it to make sure so you can trust me. Really, Ella? Do you have to? <laughs> mm. Everything is amazing. This pie crust still will go down as my ultimate favorite pie crust. This bad boy is gonna go in the freezer. This one will be for my family for the weekend, the holiday weekend, Labor Day. And this is tonight's dinner. Go ahead and double that recipe that I post below and do as many fabulous pies as you can get because it was well worth today's effort. And um, I hope you enjoy. Happy gluten-free baking. From my kitchen to yours. <clears throat> that was good stuff. It's really good? Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. This isn't going to be a thing. Look at, she's a beauty. So is she.